Hey everybody, welcome to the set of the 3500 series of Love of Quilting. I'm Sarah Gallegos, and today I had a very talented guest with me <laughs> filming a couple, an episode of Love of Quilting named Carmen Geddes. Welcome, Carmen. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so Carmen comes to us from Ten Sisters Handicraft. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do, Carmen? Oh my goodness. I. I, I'm a jack of all trades. Uh -huh. uh, I love teaching quilting techniques. I think I'd describe myself more of a technique teacher than anything else. Yeah. And we have a pattern company and we've published books and everything quilting. Everything quilting. Yes. So fun. And Carmen brought us a beautiful quilt today that we got to practice a little bit of applique and free motion skills. So there are a bazillion different types of free motion feet, yeah. right? Yes. <laughs> yes. So we just wanted to take a few minutes here to kind of share with you the differences between some of those options so that you can kind of navigate those feet and know which one you might want to try. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In fact, I think that's one of the things I love about quilting now mm -hmm. and especially our beautiful sewing machines is right. The, the right tools are going to make our projects so much more fun and come out really well, but it can be a little bit overwhelming. Right. And so as we look at different free motion feet, we have these kind of separated in two groups. Right. The first group is a foot that you are going to, you know, unscrew and, and reattach that to your shank and they're gonna stay put. They're right. not gonna move around. And then the feet over on this side, have either a spring or they're mm -hmm. going to be moving as the needle goes up and down. Yeah, they actually make contact, these feet, with the needle bar. So every time you take a stitch, they kind of bop up and down. Right. Whereas these just sort of float or hover yes. right above the surface of the fabric. Yeah, and kind of sometimes some of the difference or why you would choose one over the other, the feet that are going to have that spring and be moving with the needle bar are good to use if you have a thicker quilt it's going to make contact with that quilt and give it some right. pressure every time the needle goes down in mm -hmm. as you're moving around. And so don't be afraid if they if they make a little bit of noise. They're supposed right. to. They're supposed to make that noise. And then the ones that are stationary are really nice because they just hover. Right. Um, I Personally, I like to use those when I have a small project and when I'm using a thinner batting or it's you know not mm -hmm. a thick layer that we're going through. So to talk about a few of the different ones, this first one I think is very exciting because sometimes when we're doing free motion quilting, you know, we have to decide where where we're quilting. Right. And so this is the ruler foot that actually lets you have a ruler that you are going to butt up against the edge of that foot and you'll be able to guide that along the edge. Right. And so so many times for those you know nice curves or shapes that we're not really confident with or we want to really be able to echo nice and right. nice and tight then this is a great foot you know and ruler feet do come from different companies right so but you have yes. the one specific to your machine yes yes so i'm i am sewing on this faf uh, performance icon mm -hmm. and beautiful machine by the way and so that's what I used on this machine and so it's kind of nice because every time you get a machine you will know which feet will work on right. your specific you machine. You don't have to question which yes. height of a shank yeah, you have. Yeah exactly right. exactly. So the next foot is this nice echo quilting foot and mm -hmm. I love those little red lines because echo means we're going to quilt a line and then we're gonna echo next to it or right. echo around an applique. Mm -hmm. And so it gives you that guide. The other thing I like about this foot is that nice flat round circle sure. because it's gonna hold all the layers nice and stable. And so that's a really nice one to use too. Absolutely, especially if you are quilting over any sort of surface embellishment, mm. right? Yeah, definitely. So couching, couching yarns or yes. threads. That's what I love about quilting, that everything, everything counts and everything, everything is um, acceptable in quilts now. You can just do so many fun things. That's right. I agree. The other one is the, actually the embroidery foot for mm -hmm. the sewing machine, but it also works really well as a free motion. This is the one, if I just need something real quick, um, I will usually go to that foot when I just have a little small project. Maybe right. I'm, you know, I made just a little wall hanging and I'm just, oh, here's, I'm going to snap on this foot. Right. And so, but it's nice because it also, it has a nice little base to it. It kind of holds all those layers together really nicely. Awesome. So what would be like your number one tip for somebody that's wanting to improve their free motion skills? Mm. 
So my first tip would be matching thread. <laughs> All right, we talked about yeah, that we in the episode. We did talk about that. And yes. so having, because sometimes we will think, oh, a contrasting thread will be so pretty. And then we look at our quilting and we start being really critical of our own work. Right. And so the matching thread just, and the other thing is think about creating texture. Right. You know, and you can always learn to do some beautiful quilting designs, you know, learn to do feathers and things like that. But I always tell my students, start with something where you're just creating texture right. and we're not worried about a super um, design. And the other thing is, don't be too critical of your work. Right. Be nice to yourself. Be right? nice that's to yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's super important. <laughs> Wonderful. And so, you know, learning to do the free motion quilting with shapes that you're familiar with, right. even uh, even writing your name. Right. Well, Carmen, you are a wealth of information. Thanks Thank for you. sharing all of this with us. Thank you for having me. Be sure to check out Carmen's episode, Baby's First Wedding, in the 3500 series of Love of Quilting.